Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One, Good Vibrations at your service, to talk about a phenomenon known as the skin effect. You might have heard of this. It, it, you might have, uh, if you have a dirty mind, it might mean a whole lot of things, but, but in regards to electronics, and particularly ham radio, of interest to ham radio. It is an effect that happens when you have high frequency alternating currents flowing through a solid wire. Imagine a solid length of copper wire and you run a direct current through that copper wire. It's pretty much distributed evenly all through the wire. The uh, intensity of the current is about the same in the center as it is on the outer periphery of the wire but when you s apply alternating current instead you begin to see an increase in the flow of current on the outside in relation or proportion to the amount that flows in the center and as you raise the frequency higher and higher until you reach radio frequencies such as we ham radio operators use this effect can be very pronounced indeed. A solid copper wire, say that you use AWG number 10, solid copper wire for your antenna, and you're under the impression that it's going to have a very low resistance. Uh, you measure it with an ohmmeter, a DC ohmmeter, and you get a very low resistance. But when radio frequency currents flow in this wire, an entirely different uh, situation holds. Most of that current is going to flow on the outside of that wire. And if you use solid copper wire, especially soft drawn copper wire, for an antenna, you doubtless are aware what was, is going to happen to that wire when you string it up tight, say in an open dipole antenna. It's going to stretch. Now you can get hard drawn copper wire and it'll stretch less. But copper, as you may know, is although it's the best uh, available conductor except for silver, uh, is quite pricey. You can use aluminum wire, but the same thing's going to happen no matter what kind of metal you use for the wire. Steel, aluminum, copper, silver, anything. You're always going to see this skin effect at radio frequencies. So one trick that a lot of radio hams used when they're stringing up wire antennas is to get something that they call copper clad steel. copper-clad steel wire has a steel core and a copper coating or a th you know a little bit of a thin layer of copper on the outside of the wire like this and a core made of steel when you do that you get a couple of benefits number one it's cheaper than solid copper wire because steel is cheaper than copper. You get just as good a conductivity essentially for all intents and purposes as you would with solid copper wire because of the skin effect. Most of the radio frequency current will flow in the in the copper which is a better conductor than steel and the low current uh, near the center uh, gets to go through that steel where the loss isn't as significant. The other big benefit besides that is that it is stronger physically. And yet another benefit is it will stretches it stretches less. Steel doesn't stretch anywhere near as much as copper does. So that is uh, one of the benefits of using copper clad steel wire for your antenna. It's cheaper, stronger, and it stretches less. But there is one really aggravating side effect of copper-clad steel wire. And that is the fact that it tends to want to stay coiled up in whatever uh, configuration you purchased it in. So if you normally you purchase it in a kind of a, a coiled up, maybe in one foot in diameter uh, reel of wire or reel or spool or 
or just free by itself and you string it up straight for an antenna that's fine it'll string up straight just great but if you're going to try and make say a ladder line out of the stuff forget it because it's going to want a curly cue on you and you're not going to be able to get a constant spacing for your conductors so and if you happen to let go of the stuff when it's way stretched out and you're about to put your antenna up and you let go of the stuff it's going to spring back and chances are very uh, very very good that it's going to tangle up on you and you're going to have a devil of a time getting it untangled but if you're careful you know how to handle the stuff copper clad steel uh, isn't affected nearly as much by skin effect and there's no way to get around this effect and it gets worse and worse as the frequency goes up so you're going to ob observe it more on say 21 megahertz than you will on 1.8 megahertz but it happens even in the low and medium frequency part of the uh, radio spectrum so if we ever get if we radio hams ever get low frequency allocations say at 130 kilohertz or something like that or medium frequency applications somewhere like around 500 kilohertz if we ever get anything like that we're going to want to use wire antennas a lot more and we're going to have to contend with this skin effect and copper clad steel wire vendors are going to make a mint off of us when that happens Stan Gibalisco signing off for now saying 73 and so long.